requirements of the future um, are changing big times. Um, we have more and more the need of local manufacturing uh, in specific countries. We have a need to be very flexible and agile in, for example, prototype factories. We have uh, increasing logistics costs throughout the world and therefore the concept of a distributed factory, a distributed factory network is just there. In future we are going to see new requirements to factory layouts which go away from mass production and large-scale factories to small production facilities which work sustainable and hit the needs of the customer and therefore we are looking for a modular approach to bring containers to the customer and produce on demand there. So 5G will significantly impact the industry. So 5G is something like the big steam machine change of the second industrial revolution which we had beginning of the century, right? So what we have in front of us is an equally huge disruption in really the full automation or industrial process. We have already concrete use cases, new product introduction. So we want to offer factory on demand or factory as a service for startups so that they can rent factories for two months in order to produce their prototypes of their products. In the factory in a box concept is helping to fulfill that requirements in a very modular way um, where not too much manufacturing know-how is needed in the different countries and where you can flexibly ship a factory where needed and then if the demand is disappearing you can ship it somewhere else. New in the factory in a box is that we are going to bring production technology, IT and communications technology together in an integrated blueprint. So that we are going to be able to make our containers smart, conscious, intelligent and this is requiring a total new way of approaching the design of the factories of the future.